undergoing a lot of changes. If you have been in Nairobi for the last uh, 10 years, you will note that the infrastructure is changing a great deal from buildings to roads. And uh, currently, you can see we have the construction of Nairobi Expressway, which is going to be the game changer in the whole of East Africa. So, do you think it's easier to solve the traffic flow in Nairobi? I can't say it's easier per se because uh, there are a lot of factors involved. As you can see, the government is trying to ensure that it lessens the time taken when one is traveling across the CBD or through the Nairobi city. As you can see, uh, we have the outering road which flows in towards uh, towards the JKIA from uh, the car road. It was, uh, its purpose was to ease the traffic flow to ensure that people do not pass through town and have uh, traffic jams. So you will find most of the measures are geared towards long term. But at the same time, there are a lot of vehicles being bought. So you will realize that uh, you may be solving, but apparently there are a lot of even vehicles now coming to the roads. So, but we are hoping once the Nairobi Expressway is uh, completed, most of the traffic flow will be eased and uh, we shall have uh, less traffic snarlaps. Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. 
a channel for interesting facts and information in different areas from roads and construction, travel and adventure, technology, business, lifestyle, and personal development, among many other areas. In today's video, we will be reviewing the Museum Hill Interchange along the Nairobi Expressway. Watch this video till the end to enjoy the changes that are taking place in Nairobi and be sure to like, comment and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. There will be an underpass along this interchange. It will direct motorists coming from the Westlands area to the Museum Hill area or Thika Road. There will also be an overpass that will connect motorists using the expressway to Thika Road. So, welcome back. Today we have some operators. We are going to ask them some, a few questions and uh, we hope we get some answers from them. So, welcome to our, to our channel and uh, we have a few questions for you. As, in, as we can see, you are still working on the process and it's in the morning. So, how do you operate? at night and uh, during the day. Okay, uh, this section you have uh, come to, we don't have night section. Okay. Yes. We are just working. And uh, the government promised to provide uh, security. Is that happening throughout the day and night? It is okay. Security is available. Night okay. and day. Time. Even in a few minutes you will see the peace. Security and Are there some challenges you face during the work? Challenges that we face in this particular work is we are working with the military. So that means uh, you get tired most of the time? You get tired. Tired. Because every morning you wake up at the fire. You have to go back to the city. Every day, every day, every day, every day. Okay, thank you, and that is for today. And we hope uh, you will continue working well. And we hope the government will uh, at least uh, consider your pleas. But uh, unfortunately, on the side of uh, maybe Ops, maybe you think there is something the government needs to do? The government uh, should do for us one thing. Yes. Like uh, we are not the people. So we are to the government. So Okay, thank you, and uh, continue working well. And we hope you are going. You are going to be part of the issue that is going to change Nairobi. Thank you and welcome. The Museum Hill Interchange will be a busy junction linking major transport routes and people 
from Westlands and all areas of Nairobi as it joins the route leading to Dika, Meru and Embu. As we can all see, the existing road has not been demolished. Instead, the expressway is passing over the existing road. You can also see different machines like uh, extractors, water tankers, vibrator rollers, all at work to ensure that the Nairobi Expressway is completed within the timelines that were stipulated. Uh, we are interacting with some of the operators and uh, we found a machine here. So we are going to ask a few questions. Uh, Madam, yeah. welcome to our channel. And uh, we would like to ask you a few questions. Uh, what machine is this? Okay, this is uh, called a shovel or a roller or a front roller. So it's working to, to load, it can load, it can put a level, like it can do subgrading, it can do push clearing, and uh, offloading some stones. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Now, being a lady yes. and you are operating this heavy machine, I believe like uh, you are called a plant operator. Yeah, plant operator. Are there some challenges you do face? Yeah, challenges are there. Because, for example, a lady, it's not, it's not uh, interacting with men and you are ready. So mostly they may demean you to say, hi, maybe madam, how is it? And do you find the work interesting for you? For, for me, it's interesting. Another challenge, for example, in this area, it is a Chinese company. Yes. So at first, when they see you, they will say, hey, for, for madame, they can't, they can't do the madame. But uh, you come here and you, you do for interview, and when they see you, you are okay, then they will continue. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, we are hoping that you are going to continue the work well and uh, manage to be the part of the history that is going to change Nairobi. Okay. Because as you know, as the president promised, this is going to be a game changer in East Africa and uh, even in the world at large. Yeah. So thank you for your time and uh, have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Asante.
We are still at the Museum Hill Interchange and uh, this is Nairobi River. As you can see, there are different features in Nairobi like you can enjoy. And uh, Nairobi used to be very clean, but apparently due to human interaction, the water is not safe for people to drink. As you, you can remember in our, vi in our previous video, we mentioned about Enkare Nairobi, which meant a place of cool waters. And uh, Nairobi River is the one that was bringing the cool waters, watering across the CBD. But uh, apparently the water is not safe for human consumption.
please like this video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.